Hey, it's Mike again. I'm here to talk about aiming systems. The first aiming system is that I'm going to discuss is the foundation of every other aiming system out there. So no matter, matter what you choose, it will be based off of what's called the ghost ball aiming system. And the ghost ball aiming system is a very simple concept. Our object ball, where we want to send our object ball, and then we create in our head, in our mind, an imaginary ball that connects all these dots in a straight line right through the center of each ball. Now you can see that no matter where I am shooting the cue ball from, if I send it directly through the center of that seven ball, that four ball, the object ball, will travel towards the six ball right through where I want to send it, right through the center of this pocket. So again, a very simple concept, um, and again, the foundation of every other aiming system out there. We need to visualize the cue ball going through the center of that imaginary ball on the table, the ghost ball. So I encourage you to practice this system. The more you practice it, like anything else, the, the better you'll become at it. There are several uh, other aiming systems available that all build off of the ghost ball concept. The one I'll discuss is called the fractional aiming system. Fractional aiming system has five basic lines. And if we think about a ball being divided into quarters, we have one edge, one quarter, the middle, the other quarter, three quarters, and the other edge. That was one, two, three, four, five, five basic lines. So if we can divide the cue ball into quarters, we will have five lines um, to send our cue ball. So I've set up all five lines here and I'll demonstrate where to aim. This system, as I'll describe it, will not take into account uh, left or right English, mass saying, anything to that effect. It is a straight line. You're going to strike through the center of the cue ball in each case. For the purpose of this, is these are all cue balls, and this is our object ball. So the first one being 100% ball hit means we're going to hit 100% of that ball. And if we think about an eclipse, that ball, the cue ball, will eclipse 100% of the object ball. So we won't see any of that from our shot. Again, it's a straight line from where I want to send it, right through the center of that, right through the center of the one. And to talk about the aiming system, uh, the ghost ball aiming system again, all we're doing is replacing that in every case. So that will create a straight line between four points, the center of the pocket, the four ball, the ghost ball, and my cue ball. The second line would be a quarter ball hit to the right in this case. So we want to aim right through the center of the this cue ball, that eight, right through our ghost ball again. And what we're aiming for is uh, the 25%, the right quarter of that ball. And when we do, what that will do is create a 75% ball hit. 75% of the ball is eclipsed by the cue ball. So if I turn on my leveler, I'm hopeful that we can see that there is right through the center, there's a red line right through the center. Of the eight ball and that red line where it's going to contact the four ball is about a quarter of the ball to the right. So 
again, ghost ball here. And we can see, again, with the red lines, that it's about a 75% eclipse. The red line is going directly through the eight ball, directly through the center of the cue ball, our ghost ball in this case, and making contact, our, our, our line goes through 25% 20, from the right, 75% from the left. So that's a 75% ball hit. Our next shot, our next aiming line will be through the center of the nine and it should split the right edge. Again, I will put the ghost ball out there and you will see that it's right through the center of that ghost ball. So right through the center of the nine, right through the center of the cue ball and where that contacts the four ball is right on the edge. So our Q-tip, as we look at it, the, on our stick should split about half of the tip on the inside of the rightmost edge and about half of the tip on the outside edge. So what would that look like? Approximately that. So about half of the ball would be seen uh, as an eclipse. So there's our third line. Our fourth line will be outside the cue ball, outside the object ball. Again, our ghost ball being there, we're gonna go right through the center of the two of them, right through our object ball, right through the center of the ghost ball, excuse me, that was the cue ball, through the center of the cue ball, through the ghost ball center, and that's gonna leave you about 25% of a cue ball width from right to left outside. So what does that look like? That would be approximately 75% of the ball being seen. Yeah. So that's our fourth line in the fractional aiming system. And that's a 25% ball hit. And then finally, uh, for the five basic, I'm going to put my ghost ball back out. I'm going to put my laser level right through the two. And if I look at this, I can see that I'm really just clipping the edge. I'm just grabbing the edge of this, so that's my aiming line, is almost a half ball outside uh, to the right, in this case, of the object ball. So this is a, a uh, edge to edge connection. There's barely going to be any eclipsing going on. You would definitely not need special sunglasses to see this eclipse. Again, just barely making contact. <clears throat> if you wanna set these up at home, you can. These dots that I've put on the table, this first row here, all, if you noticed, all the balls connected. And the distance between these balls and the object ball is about a hand width away. It's about six inches away. So if you were to draw a straight line on your table, even an imaginary one, put your hand down and about the fingertip, about the middle of your, the tip of your finger, you could put a dot or a little chalk mark. And then you're just gonna put a ball next to it and make a little arc. And that would be your 25%, excuse me, 75%. 50% ball hit or center to edge, 25%, and then finally your edge to edge. I hope you, uh, I hope this was useful. I hope this also explains the importance of the ghost ball and how it was the foundation of even this aiming system. I think that's everything. Thank you.